What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert a .heic extension image into a JPEG or PNG picture, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do this on a MacBook operating system as well as on a Windows operating system right here, okay? So I'll start with the Mac operating system in today's tutorial. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I do help with fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tutorials online. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So jumping straight into the video, the very first thing in here is, for example, I've got this picture right here. It's my image. This is me fixed by Shaq. And as you can see in here, the extension is dot H E I C, right? This is a typical extension that is actually allocated by Apple devices. If you take a picture with your iPhone, you'll probably have this format in here. And the negative side about this format is that it occupies a lot of space. Now, the positive side is that it is going to preserve a lot of metadata and quality of that specific image taken, right? But okay, let's convert it to JPEG in order to save a lot of space. So here on MacBook, what you need to do is simply right click on it and tap on open with preview. Okay, simply tap on preview, open it with preview right here. And then we've got the image right here. Next up, we just need to tap here on file at the top left corner and then tap here on export. Okay, once you tap on export, you want to make sure you select the destination in here. For example, in my case, I'll go with desktop itself since we're dealing with desktop in here. And you've got in here an option to select the format of the picture that you want to export it as. We've got PNG, PDF as well if you want, but we're sticking to JPEG in today's video, right? So simply stick to JPEG. And then you've got in here an option to actually toggle this range of quality that you want in here. Whether you want to save a lot of space, you go with least, it's going to occupy you 700 kilobytes. And you can go all the way to best, which will occupy you over 5.9 megabytes, right? So here we go. I'll be going with something in the middle and then tap on save. And here we go. You've successfully converted your HEIC image into GPG right here. As you can see, let's go into its properties. We've got JPEG image right here. Now we've got a second way of doing this, which is by hopping into this website, which is HEIC to GPG.com, right? So we're going to hop into this website. Do not worry. The link to this website is down in the description box below. It's a website that allows us to convert here multiple photos as well. For example, I've got this one. I'm going to drop it here. Next up, it's going to start uploading that specific file. Now, I wouldn't recommend you guys to upload sensitive information in here because it's a website which is from a third party unknown source, right? So don't upload very confidential information in here. So here we go. It's optimizing the photo. It's going to convert. And then I've got in here download photo. It's preparing a zip file and it will download it right now. So here we go. Let me tap on X just to skip the advertisement in here. We now can uh, select where we want to store this specific download. I'll be going with desktop. OK, and then here we go. It's not done. I'm going to be opening my file, which is here on desktop. OK, let me quickly bring this here. Double tap it. And here we go. I'm going to unzip it to desktop by extracting here the specific image to my desktop once again. So here we go. I'll be going with overwrite. The file already exists, of course, and it's here. It's converted now to JPG. If you are running a Windows operating system, well, unfortunately, you cannot directly use preview because preview is not available in here, but I'm going to show you a different way of converting. OK, for example, let me quickly show you the properties of this picture just to make sure that it's the same picture and that it is in dot H E I C. As you can see, it's a dot H E I C format file. I'm going to recommend you guys to open up paint. OK, let's go straight to the paint application. I'm actually going to do this on paint because I know that paint is an inbuilt application that everybody has if you're running a Windows operating system. So it's much easier to explain it to you guys over here. However, we can also perform this with different applications as well. So here we go. Once we're on paint, what we're going to be doing is simply dragging and dropping in here the image into the paint right now. Let me quickly just reduce the size here of my magnifier. Here we go. We've got the picture right here. And then I'm going to tap here on file. Next up, we've got in here the option to save it as right. And then you've got in here all the formats that we wish to save the specific 
image in. Now, the good thing about paint is that it allows us to also save in GIF, okay? So we've got in here a couple more interesting formats in here, but we're sticking to GPG. Let's go with GPG. I'll tap here on desktop and let me quickly save it here on desktop. Here we go. It's now saved into my desktop. And as you can see, the picture is right here, okay? Let me quickly show it to you guys. Let me hop into the properties section. Here we go, we've got GPG file and it's on my desktop. Now, in case you're unable to use the paint or anything else, well, we can use the same method that we did in the uh, Mac OS operating system if you have internet connection in here. So all you need to do is simply go to H-E-I-C to jpg.com which is a famous website to convert HEIC images into GPG, right? So we'll be going with this website right here. Let me quickly close this advertisement in here. Since it's a free website, it has a lot of advertisements. Drop your image in here. It's going to ask you for a couple seconds or a minute. Just wait, let the browser do its thing. Here we go. It has optimized. And now let me tap here on download photo. It's now downloading this photo into my computer in the JPG format in here. Here we go. Let me close this advertisement real quick. File has been downloaded successfully as you can see in here. Let me quickly just uh, open the downloads folder. Okay, I can minimize this. And here we go, this is our zip file. I'm gonna move it into my desktop real quick. And now let me quickly double tap here to actually uncompress this with WinRAR, okay? And here we go, I'm gonna extract it into my desktop, okay? Tap on okay. We already have one over there, okay? So I'm gonna replace it because we already had the JPG photo. And here we go, we've got our picture in JPG format, as you can see in here, the item type, and here on my desktop. Now, alternatively, if you're unable to use Paint as well as access the website that I've just shared with you guys, for example, if that's the case that the website went down or something like that, I'll also show you a third method of doing this, which is pretty easy, okay? And this is the fastest way, but of course, the quality won't be exactly the same. So depending on the type of file that you have, if it's not something so important, you just want to get access to it, you can use this third method right here. So the third method pretty much consists of opening up the HEIC file. For example, I've got in here my HEIC format file. Next up, what you're going to be doing in here is simply open up the snipping tool, right? We've got the snipping tool in here, which is an app that also comes with the Windows operating system. So all you wanna do in here is simply hop into screenshot option in here by selecting this photo. Next up, you simply wanna select here the option which will allow you to go with the rectangle, okay? Next up, simply tap on new. Then you just need to select the specific portion of the image, like as if you're cropping it, to make sure you only select the picture and a screenshot will be taken, right? Immediately after the screenshot has been taken, you'll be able to see the screenshot in here. And all you need to do is simply tap on save. And then you just need to select the destination, which will be your desktop, for example. And then you've got in here the trick where you can change the format to JPG or you can keep it in PNG if you wish to maintain much quality. Tap on save and your image will be converted in just a few seconds to GPEG. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you have any question or any doubt, do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure I reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.